Hello, my friendly porcupines. I don't know. <laughs> Welcome back to Layton's Mystery Journey with Lena and Ashley. Why are you smiling Hi. like that, you weirdo? Porcupines. Porcup porcupines? Is that not cute? It's pretty cute. Uh, at, this is the story so far. Madame de Blaise's request. The dog led Layton detective team begins the hunt for Rexy Wexy, the affluent lady's missing, missing pet. The investigation gets underway immediately and, re and reveals an unusual number of cat related trinkets in an enormous residence. Is this. Where you want to be? Yeah, this is my. This is what I want my, for my life. I guess some fashion parlings. Don't forget you. the daily puzzle. I know. I was literally just about to say Ashley until you interrupted me with saying the daily puzzle. <laughs> uh, this one. Have I done this one yet? Can't remember. Doesn't seem like it's got new next to it. Cool. Someone's uh, someone's been overzealous placing arrows. That the robots are ratted or wrong. Can you fix it? Can it? Can can Bob? <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Bob the builder. Okay. This is like the tiles in um, in po Pokemon. Tiles. You know the, the tiles and they push you and you do your little spin. Oh yeah, the woo 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 woo. Yeah. Uh, tinker with the arrows, tinker. I love the word tinker. It's, it's so, nice. so, so so cute. cute. Uh, with the arrows to allow all the robots to reach the goal. When you give the command, they'll head off uh one at a time, always moving forwards and turning into in accordance with any active arrow they pass over. Yes, mm -hmm. I get it. Uh, you can deactivate and, and reactivate arrows by simply selecting them. Robots passing over deactivated arrows will continue in the direction they were already traveling. You can only deactivate a certain number of arrows, and you cannot deactivate adjacent arrows or the squares will turn red. Okay. Pardon me. Uh, you fail if any robots end up in a loop or travel outside the puzzle area. You also fail if a robot bumps into another robot or passes over one of the starting squares of its fellows. Tsk, t t tsk, technology, eh? Okay, so I need to get them all to the end, all to the finish line. Mm -hmm. da, da, da. Okay, maybe let's just start with one. Wait, do they actually move, or is it just? So they'll go. They'll go the way that they're facing. Yeah. Um, and so, so for example, there, that's a loop right there. Mhm. Mm uh, you'd need to get rid of the one below that, I would imagine. This one. Yeah, to let them continue going through otherwise i'll get stuck there mm -hmm. so then yeah, you can continue follow going this that way. Yep. this way like that yeah that works does that uh, work for all of them can you get rid of the up arrow on the top middle oh this one yeah yep. didn't see it then they should all follow that that path. Yeah, so this one will go this way, down and down, down and down, da 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 there. Perfect. Looks good There's to me. One. Yeah, I think this is good. Oh, do they... Okay, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no, it's all... For some reason, I was like, oh, is it gonna... Yeah, okay. This is interesting. Yeah, there you go. That was peace, an interesting peace. one. Yeah, I like, I like puzzles so like that. in conclusion... Good job, Ernest. Still no patch on Miss Layton, of course. Still pretty loud. Turn this down. God. God damn it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. On with... Uh, Thomas. Uh, okay. On with the... Gen well, the investigation. Actually, no, wait. Wardrobe. <laughs> what am I, I doing? Say, is any new what outfits? am I doing? I gotta change my outfit. Are there new ones? Uh, well, these are like... So, These are the DLC ones, yeah? Yeah, I bought some, I got some more, downloaded some more. They're just like the same outfits, but they just have different colours. Different, um, different thingamajigs. Oh, so cute. Oh, so cute, I love it. I'm getting this one. Thank you. Yes, I'll put it on straight away. You would get that one. Shut up. <laughs> you know me too well. Okay, so now I can go to the outside, I'm pretty sure. The, gar the garden. The garden. No, that's all right. This one. Uh, expensive and very well-tended gardens behind expensive. the Dublin. Expansive, sorry. Um, and very well attended gardens behind the Dublé residence. Well, it's also expensive, I think. <laughs> oh, it most definitely is. <laughs> expensive mine. and expansive. Well, I love that fountain. I say, what a breeze I garden. Beezer. A beezer garden. I've been for walks in parks smaller than this. Oh my god, I look so I look so rad. Look at me. <laughs> That's awesome. Get the tea shop. The outfit is awesome as. Oh, Rex could be hiding anywhere in here. So we better, we'd better start looking. Yes, we better. What is this? Grub on the floor. What a wonderful array of different trees and plants. Oh dear. What am I treading on? Ah, snake! 
Snake! Calm down, Ernest. It's just a skin. A snake skin? I hate snakes. I hate snakes. Ugh. I hate skins. I feel sick. Oh, I hate, I hate snakes. Skins. I hate skins. <laughs> Ugh, I feel sick. Uh -huh, I'm not sure if it's a uh, if it is, if that is a snake skin actually. It's just something on the. <laughs> oh no, Miss! Please don't pick it up, even on a stick. It's all part of the investigation, uh, investigating Ernest. You can't be skirmish about these things. Now let's have a look. Ugh, it is a skin, but you're right, Miss. It's hard to tell if it belonged to a snake or something else. In a garden this size, there are bound to be one or two adders. Sure, please. Oh dear, I hope we don't hate. I would. I hope we don't have to be here too long. Hmm, that's a that's a clue. <laughs> skin? Question mark. Some kind of reptile skin. Oops. There we go. Ding. Oh, the outfit. I'm actually in, in love with this outfit. <laughs> it's actually so cute. <laughs> and it's the minty color, isn't it? I forgot to read what the thing was again. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. Oh, thank you. Thanks, babes. What a what a beautiful garden. Boing. More hint coins. There's little baby shrubs. <laughs> I see I'm looking that at the there. grass at there. Like... I don't look at that yet. Oh. Oh, wow. Fountains. I'm thirsty. Do you think anyone would notice if I had a drink from here? Probably yes. Found Absolutely. Point. I bet she would fall in. The sound of running water is very sephoric, isn't it? Especially with the hot sun beating down. Ooh, it's so cool. Ernest, give me a handkerchief quickly. Handkerchief? Why? She probably put a hand in it. Oh. <laughs> also cool as in like that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like cool as in I thought she was like admiring how awesome it is. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. The table is set for afternoon tea already. How convenient. Oh, so are you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I expect this table is always set, so it's ready whenever <laughs> Madame decides she'd like to take tea. I am the snack. <laughs> <laughs> well, no obvious teeth marks in the scones or sandwiches, so I'll know if you sneak any cat. <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh, wow. Uh, you discovered a royal tea reserve. Hmm. Actually, I didn't even look in my collection. I haven't done that in a bit. Uh, what, what, what new stuff have I got in the collection? Crusty clapperboard. Oh, don't say that to me, Ashley. <laughs> uh, crusty, but also cr uh, crusty, but also trusty. <laughs> It's been everywhere with this director. Ah, uh, the Poponos, a little egg toy from a popular tourist spot in the south, sa said to bring joy. Tea reserve. Royalty for the Sax Coburgs? Coburg? Coburg. Coburgs? Mm -hmm. uh, probably the best tea in the world. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and I've got it in my pocket now. I don't see any now. tapioca balls, so. <laughs> <laughs> Is this some kind of giant bird cage? <laughs> don't say that I miss bubble tea. I know, I miss <laughs> it too. It's okay. What a delightful spot. I should love to sit here on a lazy afternoon and read a book. Now this would be perfect place for an afternoon nap. In fact... Catria <laughs> <laughs> yeah. does seem like the type of person just to fall asleep like straight away anywhere. Mm. Okay, I think the last thing I actually need to investigate is that little... I little see the archway in there. The, yeah, in the... Oh no, yeah. I meant this thing right here. I just didn't want to look at it yet because I wanted to explore everything else. Okay. Don't look there's anything else. That's another way in and out of the property. Not so grand as the gates we came through. Look, it's a bit broken at the bottom. You're right, Shell. Perhaps it took a blow from a football or something when children were playing out in the street. I imagine it's hard to stay on top of repairs with a property this size. Hmm, well, we've conducted a thorough search of the garden now, but still no Rex. Where could that cat have gone to? Hmm. Ah, I see Agent Shell is thinking. Well, what have you dedu deduced? I'm forming a picture of what might have happened based on the evidence here in the garden. Really? Wizard job, Shell. Wizard job? Oh, this is exciting. Do tell us, uh, Mr. H Mr. Holmes. Well, as we know, Rex slipped on a banana skin and shot out of the open French doors. <laughs> just imagine that. Yet. <laughs> I just imagine being like the gardener looking at the looking up at the corner, <laughs> and all of a sudden you see a cat sliding out, <laughs> there, out the window. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh god, anyway. Then continue. in the garden he encountered a snake. The shock made him flee from the garden through the broken side gate. Now that, how's that for detective work? Even Rex isn't even on the grounds anymore. That would be the general idea, Pinstripes, yeah. We should have, look, uh, we should have looked high and low and found nothing. Of course that's going to make tracking him down rather more of a sticky wicket. Sticky wicket? Well, we can't give up just, uh, just because it's sticky or wickety. <laughs> If Rex has left the grounds, then we must follow. Alright then, let's head back onto the street. If the cat isn't used to leaving the property, then he's probably not too far away then. Yes, I suppose you're right. Well then, 
Let's see what we can find out on the street. I bet Kat has already figured it out, but she's just messing with Shell now. Yeah, I'd say so. It's probably saying that absolutely stupid and doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but she already knows because she just does it like that. Hmm, no cats like Rex out here. Rex, your mummy's worried about you. Come home. Mummy. Madame Dublay. She's a human. Rex is a cat. <laughs> Does that mean she can't be his mother? <laughs> oh! What? A cat! Over there, look! Over, Over there, there, look! look. <laughs> Do you see, miss? Aw, oh, it's Stripes. Is it Stripes or Stripey? Yeah, that's it. Meow. No, oh, that's not Rex. That's some other cat. Different coloured fur and everything. <laughs> it's pretty obviously not Rex. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's, and it's far too skinny. The cat of a wealthy owner like Madame, Madame de Blay wouldn't be skinny like that. Agreed. Let's keep looking. Oh, you're gonna help me? Okay, well, search for Rex outside on the residence. Okay, so I can just investigate other stuff. Um, should I ask people? Is that what they want me to do? Ah, detectives. Alex, good to, uh, Alex, good. I'm glad we ran into you again. We're, uh, we're searching for a cat. Have you seen any? No, yes. I've seen many cats in these streets. What kind of cat are you looking for? He's called Rex, and he's white all over. He's from a rather well-to-do household, and looks the part. Hmm. No, I have not seen a cat like this. Oh, what a pity. Yeah, okay. Well, we've been all around the streets by Madame de Blay's mansion now, and still no sign of Rex. Cats are fickle creatures, that's a trouble. Tracking them down, um, is always hard. What's our next move, Agent Shell? Our only option now is to widen the search. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find a clue at least, even when you don't find Rex himself. All right then, let's do it. Let's start it, uh, looking further afield. So we're gonna go out more? Yep. Yeah. And again, here we go. Oh, good one. Hiya, hi, how are you? Oh, hello, yes, fine, thanks. Uh, what can I do for you? Sorry for stopping you like this in the street. I was just wondering if you heard of the new, uh, new maze craze. The new maze craze? No. Uh, Ernest, do you know uh, about such a craze? No, I can't say I've heard about anything like that. This is another minigame. Just to be clear, I'm a dog, so... No. No. <laughs> oh, well, I've tried it. You see, it, uh, but it's a bit too hard for me, so would you like mine? No, thank you. Yes, it sounds interesting, I must say. Ha, huh, I thought uh, you looked like the sort of person who'd want to give it a go. Here you are, then. It's all yours. That's very kind of you. I look forward to trying it. Yeah, there's another one. The hound in the pound mini game can now be ca in Panda Catcher's bag. It's a puzzle game in which you have to help Shell escape the pound by guiding him through the maze, switching the coloured blocks up and down as you go. See if you've got what it takes to complete all the levels. Okay. I'm gonna have a go at, um, let's have a go seeing what it's like. Hound in the pound. In this game, you move blocks up and down to create an escape route for Shell, uh, the hound to get out of the pound. You start by choosing the level. Uh, you must guide Shell to the exit with within the specified number of moves to complete each level. Uh, the directional the direction shell can move as shown by the arrow buttons, and he'll keep going in the direction you indicate until he bumps into something. The colour blocks move up and down, use L and R to switch to make to select a switch. Uh, then press A to make to make all the all the blocks of the corresponding colour change it into the opposite direction. However, if there's something on top of any blocks when you flip the switch the blocks won't rise. Only when shell actually moves is it counts it as a turn. Switching the blocks up or down does not does not count. Mm. Take pity on Shell and the Pound and rescue the poor hand by moving the blocks around. The to top to color some uh, extra kudos. See if you can navigate Shell in to the safety in the minimum number of moves. Minimum okay, number cool. of moves. Okay. Least moves is four. One, two. Okay, I see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then uh, get rid of the blue switch. Mhm. Mm Oops, that's not. Oh. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I'd... Try again. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, go up, and then get rid of the blue switch. Let's use L and R. Yep, and then uh, go to the left. Mhm. Mm oh wait, no, I was How silly. Was one, two, three. I forgot that there's also one right there. <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. So maybe get rid of the blue ones. Mhm. Go to the right. I'll see that. Get the star. The star? Yep. Or do you mean the, the yeah. pink? Um. No, you'll oh, no, need the yeah. star. Yeah, I get your star and then get rid of the. Oops, no, oh. I didn't want to do Press that. Press X to redo. Thank you. Hmm? Undo. There we go. 
Oh, you can go up. I'll go up first and then I'll yeah, yeah, get rid of the blue and the pink. Mm -hmm. and, and you then... can go right, or left, sorry. And then up. Strong up. Yep. Nice one. That's top dog, Ashley. Good job. Okay, back to the investigation. It's like it's like those ice ones. What are they called? The, you know. In the ice gyms in Pokemon. To, yeah, you have to like slide around yeah. and get to the get to the end. <sighs> We've looked all over the place now, and still no whiff of Rex or any clues to his whereabouts. We need to try to think where we'd go if we were cats. That van is new. It is. Agreed, but I'm a cat, so and I don't know, and I don't know. Well, I think they generally lack small enclosed spaces and high up vantage points. But there are hundreds of places like that around here. No point in sticking our tails between our legs and giving up. Let's take another look around. Okay, what's this? Ah, there's a van parked up here. Look. You appear to be delivering something. Hello, miss. Bow bells, I think it is? Yeah. Oh, hiya! What are you up to? Anything exciting? We're looking for a cat. It escaped from Madame de Blair's residence, it seems. Madame de Blay? Oh, the lady who lives um, in the big mansion over there? Yes. No. What if she overhears you, cat? Don't worry, she's not around at the moment. You haven't seen a cat around here, have you? Yes, yes I have. Really? I just saw it over there a minute ago. Hold on, I'll bring it- uh, I'll go and bring it over for you. She's gonna go go catch her for us. This could be it. Case closed. Let's wait and see, shall we, Ernest? It's probably the wrong cat, obviously. Yeah. Oh, it's this one again. Here he is. Look, isn't he terrific? Terrific? Patch. Mee wee. Aww. This could be a one at a push. <laughs> it looks sort of like a cat in the picture, doesn't it? No, it really does not. Wishful thinking, Shell. Wishful thinking. S no, sadly, this isn't Rex. It was very good of you to uh, try and help, but unfortunately, this isn't the cat we're looking for. Meow. Oh, oh well. So, Kitty, what do you want to do? Come home with me? Hey, <laughs> Hey, where are you going, Kitty? And ran straight over to that van. Perhaps the van's carrying something the cat uh, lacks the smell of. Are we looking at the van again now? Fish market. Uh -huh. Ah, I see. Wake up, you two. That's the fish van. Look, there's even a fish logo on the... Uh, and the words fish market on it. <laughs> in it's in capitals. capitals. <laughs> How many more clues do you need? Gosh, you're right. The cat must be following the fishy scent. In which case, maybe we Rex went after it too. Let's investigate. Yes, miss. Can they tell me anything else? Oh no, it's driving away. No, come back. <laughs> Gotta get on the bicycle. <laughs> oh, there it goes. The van. Um, wait, please. Wait. 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 It's driven off. Uh, come on. We have to chase it, chase it on foot. Oh, God. We'll never be able to catch a vehicle, Miss Layton. Says who? Oh, God. They're going for it. Ah. Ah. Can't catch it too fast. It wasn't impossible. Ah. Task. Miss. Time to call it a day, I think. Never. Catch your Layton doesn't uh, know the meaning of the word give up. <laughs> That's two words. Then I don't know the meaning of it twice. <laughs> uh, if we can't follow the van, we'll just have to find someone else who knows where it's going, where it was going. You know, if you'd thought of that sooner, we wouldn't have. Sa uh, we would have. We could have saved ourselves a lot of lung ache. Lung ache. Never mind. Let's focus on. Uh... Excuse me. Let's focus our energy now on finding someone who knows where the van might have gone. Uh, will the Patch kid. know? Will, will Kitty know? Patch, do you know where the van went? <laughs> where the van went? No. Nope. Sir, do you know? Oh, hello. Oh, it's got a puzzle. I say, excuse me, do you know anything about the van that was just parked here? The van? Vans like that are the bane of my life. We've been puzzle puzzling over the sticky van issue back at the station for months. Hmm. What puzzle has he got for me? Tunnel vision. Uh, we need to use this truck to get through to the other side of the tunnel, but the truck is uh, just a little bit too tall and won't fit. It looks like it would 
get through if a little something was removed from it, but what? You're not allowed to break the truck or take anything off that isn't normally removable. Give, give your answer as a word. If something was removed... If you made it into a convertible, maybe. <laughs> uh, five letter word? Or is that just... Needs to be removed. Wheels. No, because that doesn't make any sense. Yes, it does. It would fit. Yeah, but, it doesn't work, but then it won't go through. <laughs> doesn't matter. It just needs to fit, right? No, I don't think that's the... <laughs> I don't think that's the answer. Mm, it's too tall, so moving the wheels. You're not allowed to break the truck or take off anything that isn't normally removable. So I'd say, like, moving the wheels would not work. You know what I mean? Why not? It's something that's generally removable. Yeah, but I mean... Wouldn't that also count as breaking the truck because then it's not functional? It's not non-functional? No, absolutely not. Okay. It's not breaking it. I'll put wheel in. Wheel? I can't do wheels, so it's wheel. Are you sure that sounds right still? I don't know. You can use a hint coin. Would you be happy to use one of your many no, hint coins? No, I wouldn't be happy using one of my 10,000 hint coins. You don't have to do anything to alter the tunnel, such as altering and enlarging the hole. We know that. <laughs> and they're working on the truck. If it is wheel, that doesn't make any sense to me. So... Get, get, get through the tunnel to the other side. If you take away the wheels, how the fuck are you going to do that? But that's not the question. The question is, um... Yeah, but the, we need to use this truck to get through to the other side mm. of the tunnel. So taking away the wheel doesn't make any sense. I mean, it still would work. It would just be very hard. Uh... I don't know. It still would work. It would just be very hard. Yes. The roof of the truck cover removes and the truck's not damaged. It's not only parts of the truck you should be considering removing here. I kind of thought it was like the driver, like you take out the driver, but then what's the point of doing that? I don't know, I don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> but steel is heavier than feathers. Instead of worrying about the top of the truck, you should be focusing on the bottom of the truck. If it's wheel, that still doesn't make any sense to me. Oh. Well, I'll put in wheel. Oops, that's not it. Ashley Puzzle Master. It does. Ashley, Ashley Puzzle, Puzzle Master. Master. It doesn't make sense. Damn. I don't cut the mustard at all, do I? There's something that can be removed without stopping the truck from moving. Yes, there you go. As long as there's not too much of it is removed. What? <laughs> Air. Air from the tires. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> is that it? Just right, right, right. Air. Really though? Like just this, just taking out a bit of air from the tires? Like that? We'll see. If you'll entertain my idea here. Yeah. Yes. So it was the wheels, it but was it was the wheels, just... but it was a different part of the wheels. Yeah. <laughs> you said removing a little bit of air from the tires is all that's needed. Just don't let out too much air or the truck can't move. Yeah. Just get a different car, people. <laughs> <laughs> Argentine beef. Yum. Oh, that smashing that is. Well done. Now I can finally get my mind back on the job. That was hard. That was like such out of the box thinking that I was like... The, the entire police force is just sitting there. Like, <laughs> they're like what? drawing. They're like, yeah. what do we do? Now then, Constable, do you think we could uh, get back to the matter at hand? Oh, yes, Miss Layton. There was something in particular you, want, you was wanting, right? To speak with me about. Well, we're wondering if you might know where the van was uh, that was parked here before would have gone to. Uh, the one with the fish logo, you know? Ah, oh, yes, the fishmonger is Tin Can. The one comes straight from the wharf, I believe. The wharf? Uh, just near just near here, on the th on the Thames, you mean? Um, thank you. Thank you, PCB. Could it be that Rex hopped on a ride that van and ended up by the river, then? To the Thames, team. Thames team. Thames team. Team Thames. Team Thames. Now it's on Tim Thames. Yeah. <laughs> So there's fresh fish to the kitchens of all these well-to-do residences, you know? 
It's all here the same every day, give or take. It all makes uh, makes all the same steps. So it would have been here yesterday. I didn't bother reading it because I didn't realise that the conversation would go on for so long. Do you know where it comes from? Dear me, I'm afraid not. Uh, I'd love to know, of course. But there are some things uh, even I don't manage to get the wind of. More's the pity. More's the pity, was that it? Was that what it said? I think so. Uh, I'm sorry it can't be more helpful. I'll tell you what, I'll give you my favourite fish recipe to make up for it. How about that? I'd recommend herring in a pie. It's simply divine. Really? Well, thank you very much for the valuable, valuable information. We'll have that. <laughs> we'll have herring pie for dinner tonight. A recipe for dinner? What? Every detective is dying to uncover. I think I just learned anything for the... I oh, know, probably not. So we got allergic to fish and yep. doesn't like fish. Yep, so neither of us are going to have herring for night. <laughs> herring for dinner tonight. Uh, the, long, the area along the banks of the river, famous London's famous river. There we go. <laughs> can't, even, can't even read. What am I doing? Keep mixing up my words. That is a that funny is a, looking boat. I was going to say, it looks like a whale, whale, uh, whale lord. The bottom part of it makes me think of whale lords. No, I know, I know what you're talking Maybe. about. Yeah. Uh, Here we go. are. Look, this is a wharf. Gosh, look at all the boats coming and going. Well, if we want to investigate a, ca a case, it would be a lovely spot to sit and watch all the activity on the river, but... Aha! I'd love to go and have look, a look at the over river. over there. That's our van. By golly, you're right. What piece of luck finding it straight away like that. You would love to go sit on the Thames and, Thames and have a look? Yeah. Not the river itself, but you know. Yeah, oh yeah, like you go sit in the river. <laughs> Let's investigate while we uh, have the chance. It could uh, drive off again at any moment. Oh yes, of course. I haven't seen vans driving themselves. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that could happen, Shell, right? Right here, the body of the cat. Remus, we're getting close. There's two more to go. It seems the fish, uh, fishermonger, fishmonger. <laughs> Fish, fishmonger. Uh, he's like he's like <laughs> Iron Man, but he's <laughs> he he's like he's Black Panther, but he's not Black Panther. Uh, it seems the fishmonger's van's uh scene in Millionaire's Road came from the wolf, wolf on the river. Rex may be hitched a lift, may have hitched a lift back there. There we Can go. Can I read the previous one as well, or ah, uh, no, Sibia. Yeah. <laughs> That's oh, alright. The bunny dude. <laughs> bunny dude. The Papa Nos dude. Uh, Whew, what a pong. You'd certainly know who this van was used for, wouldn't you? It's dark and ding gin dingy, cramped and fishy. It's like uh, being inside the belly, be the belly of an enormous whale or something. It's very invigorating. In what way? Rex, Rex, if you're in here, come out now. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> nice try, Pinstripes, but it's not going to be that easy. Pep has already slipped out of the van and has gone somewhere else. Pop on us, man. What's that? It's not a giant mushroom, is it? This is a mooring bo bollard. It used to tie ropes to mm. uh, when securing ships. Bollard. I say, if I put one leg up on the bollard like this and strike <laughs> a pose, I could be a film poster. <laughs> uh, on a film poster, don't you think? You don't. Oh. oh poor Ernest. That was kind of cute, Ernest. Oh, well, even my nose can't, can smell that sweet scent. Something sweet? These crates have probably come from halfway around the world, haven't they? That was bananas. Some of these crates would uh, look good in the office, don't you think? Sh uh, shabby chic is old rage. Or do they just say, uh, or do they just look shabby? Is that bananas? Yes. Banana. It's kind of interesting thinking about other places in the world that don't have, that don't grow bananas, and there's there's not as much. Wait, why is that weird? <laughs> it's just I'm just so used to having them around. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's a busy place, this wharf, isn't it? Do bananas not grow in England? No. They grow in tropical climates only. <laughs> I don't know things about fruit. <laughs> but yeah, that makes sense. Look at the boat. It's, uh, look at the boat. Uh, that's just about to leave now. What do you suppose that's carrying? So wait, would, would um, uh, like people, people in England think that bananas are exotic then? If they don't grow? I think they'd get a, lo <laughs> a lot of them on shipments. But they wouldn't be... They'd probably be more expensive. Maybe. And you might not get as many. See, in here in Australia, where where we live, they only um, they only grow in the northern cli climate in Queensland. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The Bananas, you know. I think. The more, yeah, the <laughs> more you know. <laughs> Bananas, I think, probably imported from overseas, uh, and now being delivered to somewhere else along the river. I do like rivers and boats. I'd love to jump on one uh, on one now, and sail away. Oh well, Miss, if you will, I will. <laughs> oh God. Leaving a dog in charge of the business. Good thinking, team. Good thinking. I'm sure you could handle things, Shell. 
Well, obviously I could. In fact, the Shell, uh, Shell Holmes Detective Consultancy. That almost sounds believable. <laughs> uh, you'd have to, you'd have to move uh, the office to Barker Street, though. <laughs> Are you mocking me? Well, I mean, Shell, you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't even be able to communicate with anyone, though. No. So, it's not like it's bound to fail. Did I talk to the Popanos man? Yeah, sorry, I thought that was all the things I could have a look at. It looks like the bird doctor over there is tran transporting a cargo of bananas. Cargo of bananas. Hello, Popanos. Popanos, dude. I think his name's Benny. Yeah. Hello, Popano. Uh, hello. I'm, I'm very sorry, but I'm not really interested in buying a Popano. <laughs> okay, no problemo. Maybe you'd like this cute bunny puzzle instead. Then we would. Puzzles is exactly what we want. Yeah, puzzles. We love them. Hopping, hoppy bunnies. Some rabbits are playing in the field. The rule is that they have to go between uh, the two other rabbits whenever they move. And it looks like uh, all they want is to end up on the patch of flowers. Help all the rabbits find their way to some flowers. So let's rabbit to see where it can go and decide which one uh, to move where. You can't move the same rabbit twice in a row. I so don't understand, like they, can, they can only move in between. Okay. Okay. So they can only move um, through... Can I not? Okay. Yeah, they can only move like in between the buttons. In between? So if I did that, this one can only move this way, sort of thing. You know what I mean? No. It's a read, read the instructions, actually. Uh, God. You, you do the thing while I read the instructions. <laughs> oh, okay, I understand. Impasse. Impasse. Impasse, bro? No. You gotta. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just. You gotta keep. You gotta around. keep this um triangle kind of shape. I think. Mhm. Mm Maybe try going. Can I just like move it down and then move it back up again? Yeah. Can you go? Oh no, I can't move the same one. You twice. can't move the same one. No. Right, right, right. Of course. You'd have to like um move the others around it and kind of do like a rotatey kind of thing. Rotatey kind of thing. Yeah. So it's gonna be. Yep, down. I don't know how far down I need to go. Is the question. Uh, not all the way to the bottom, I don't think. Or maybe... Doesn't particularly matter, it looks like it, anyway. Wait, no, if I moved it down one more, would that work? I think one more would be better, yeah. Yeah. Then like that, yeah. then this one would be able to go here. And then this one would be able to go here. Yep. Yeah, you gotta maintain that triangle thing that it has at the this start. Yeah, and then just kind of one. rotate it around. That was interesting. <laughs> I got it. I just, the, just interesting. Just didn't got <laughs> just it. <laughs> interesting. I just, yeah, I just don't got it. Uh, you did it. Those bunnies look happy now. Aww. By taking turns moving the two rabbits anti-clockwise, the puzzle can be completed in five steps. Oh, I did clockwise instead of anti-clockwise, but yes. Still works the same. Oh, that makes right? sense because the the bunny was on the left hand side, mm. so you would have to spend. I would done faster. One, uh, you'd have to spend. One rotation less, which means two bunny movements. Okay. Thank you. That was a cute puzzle. You were right. You did it. You solved the puzzle. You are very clever solving, solving, uh, solver of puzzles. Now, let's see how you dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's pulled out a gun and starts shooting my feet. <laughs> like, mm. like, in typical, like, old <laughs> car, <laughs> <sort of> cowboy, <laughs> cowboy, like, movie. He's like, ah, I gotta dance. Ah, oh, what a grand waste of time. Oh, has there been some kind of incident here? Oh, no. I wouldn't be calling it an incident now. All that happened was, I was after, uh, after loading everything onto the ship back there, when a snowy white cat jumped out, out of me from the hold. A snowy white cat? Ah, that's what I said. Jumped out like a tiger, so it did. Anyway, now they're thinking that there could be more cats hiding on board, and they're doing a full-blown search. It'll be getting away, I tell you. What happened to the cat that jumped out at you? I'm blessed if I know. The darting bolted off at a fair old speed, so it did. I see. Well, thank you. Uh, you've been very helpful. Got another hint? Oh! A yapper. A yapper? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, what was that? It's a dog barking, isn't it? Can you understand what it's saying, Shell? <laughs> it... It caught me off guard. I didn't catch what it said. Really? Even with those enormous ears of yours? That's right. Even my enormous dog ears. <laughs> Humph. Harumph. Oh well, if you didn't hear, it can't be helped. 
Maybe something is going on over there. Maybe Rexy Rex has been chased down. Yes, you could be right. Let's go investigate. Oh no. We gotta go save Rex. I bet he's been chased by dogs. How many like to fish? <laughs> Mr. Fisher? Ah, oh, we've met before, I think, haven't we? Or haven't we? Oh, no, maybe not. Actually, or maybe. <laughs> uh, yes. Yes, we have met. On the last day of the Rivers uh, Riverside Festival, it was. Hmm, Riverside Festival. Now you mention it. I think there might have been a festival going on by that name, yes. <laughs> He's out of his mind. I know, I was like, <laughs> I was like you're right, mate. Gosh, I don't know if we'll get much useful information out of this chat. Oh, I'm sure we will. Don't worry. I mean, I can barely remember what I had for dinner last night. <laughs> but don't you worry about my state of mind. But you don't worry about my state of mind, do you? Actually, did I even have dinner last night? <laughs> As if that's up for debate. Uh, so what are you all doing out here by the river? A spot of fishing? Or just looking for a company, is it? Spot of fishing. Actually, we're looking for a missing cat. You haven't seen a white cat around these parts recently, have you? Yes, I've seen it all right. Really? Oh, hurrah! We found Rex at last! Well, hopefully. Look, it's just over there now. Oh, wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, God. Um, you're not talking about... That's actually a dog. Hmm, <laughs> now that you mention it, I'm not sure if it was a cat I saw. Perhaps it was a catfish. Or was it a dog? Oh, God, this dude. Ah, looks like we're no closer to finding Rex after all. I think I must have... It must have been a stray over there. Uh, we heard barking before, don't you? Vagrants are, are your area, Shell. Uh, sorry, I mean dogs. I heard that. Alright, leave the outfit to me. I found out what he's so excited about. Is that what we into the doggle? That's what the puzzle Stuck guy... Scarf. Stuck and scarf. Stuck and scarfing? Get another puzzle for me? <laughs> Make no mistake. I'm not scratching my head over a puzzle. Never! If you'd like me to solve a puzzle for you, please just come straight out with it and ask for help. <laughs> solve it for me? Never! But if you're interested in trying it for your own amusement, then be my guest. No need, be, no need to be shy. After this, I think I'm gonna end the episode. It's gonna, <laughs> I was thinking it's gonna go on for a while. I was like, ah, hem in the hemp, hem in the hamster. What are you doing, session scuffing? There's a thirty, it's a thirty bit one. <laughs> uh, here we have eleven hamsters. If they're all left together when their cages are being cleaned, they all start to fight with each other. So they need to be separated into their own individual spaces. I remember this one. Uh, using just using just three enclosures. So how many can I keep in one enclosure, or it doesn't matter? They need to be separated into their own then individual yeah, spaces. Each, oh, okay. Do you remember doing this? I remember you doing this. Yeah, yeah, I do. I remember now. So, I have to, like, cut them all off. Sort of thing. I get it, but I just... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, well... Let's just get these out of the way. Maybe start with a triangle. The triangle's the funniest shape. <laughs> Does not let me place. Because they're still touching the other ones. I yeah. know, I know, it's just hard. Why do they all have to be individual? Like, they got to fight. Gonna the hamsters fight. have got their, their fisties. Their fisties Little are hamster up. Little fisties up. <laughs> they, cut, they caught one of the other hamsters running in their little hamster wheel. <laughs> and they out for blood. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I'm thinking the rhombus might actually be the weirdest shape. You mean the or square? Or diamond or whatever the hell you want to call it. <laughs> it's just a square, love. It's just a rotated It's a rotated side. square, which makes it a diamond. <laughs> It's not a rhombus. Uh, rhombus is pushed rhombus square. Rhombus is, yeah. It's a leaning t square of pizza. <laughs> is that right? Yep. Uh, Could not be more right, my love. Thank you. Uh, I don't know about that. Neither do I. Because <laughs> you need it needs to be more across. Like here? Uh, you got too many in the same spot, if that's yeah. the case. Because that one down there. You need to have one cutting through those two at the bottom there. Here, you mean? Like that? Or you mean here? Uh, over there, yeah. 
Oops, there we go. Like that. Yep. Let me use a hint coin. I just need to like know where one one's placed first and then I'll be happy. Oops. No, no hints. No hints. If you enclose triangle, circle, square, okay. Triangle first. It's like hard because I just can't see it. Like that's the issue. It's like yeah, I'm having trouble seeing it as well. Like it's I can't like look at it to know what I'm doing, sort of thing. Maybe like this. Oh, so close. Now even then, you've got the two in the corner over there, yeah. and the two on the bottom left as well. Oh, yeah, I see that there. Oh, and no matter what, like I'm gonna yeah. Have... What if I can move the circle a bit more? Like this way? I'm thinking maybe what if some of them don't actually have to be in enclosures? Do they have to be in them? Because like what if one, one what if one can just kind of run around freely and not fight with everyone else? You know what I mean? Individual spaces. Yeah. Hmm. Is it time to use the last hint coin? Alright, let's do it. Place the circular enclosure so that the contains the that fall outside the triangular enclosure. All of them. Okay. Less than half hour on the. Is it the top of the enclosure? Maybe the triangle can come down further somehow. Hmm. Also, it's supposed to be like that. Like rather that. Rather than that. Yeah. And then falls at the bottom like this. Yeah. But then that also doesn't work. Because you got the three down there. I'm confused. Oh my god. <laughs> it's probably like way easier as well. Yeah. Than we're making it out to be. So place it like that. And then what was the hint about the circle? So it says catch the um the ones that fall out of the all of the them triangle. outside the triangle. Alright, go back and I look at the triangle. It doesn't make sense. Because it, it, it literally can't. It's not big enough to do so. Yeah. Unless, can you... No. Oh, can I? Is it just big enough? There's maybe that one that on the edge that doesn't. Can you go up? It's getting that one out here because that's confusing as well. I'm just, I'm just constantly confused. There's still another hint. There's the super hint. Are we that bad? Yeah, we're that bad. <laughs> I'm just doing it. It makes this it makes it first. Be sure to place the square so that it's that it encloses the hamster at the bottom right, which is still not contained. What? Then tweak the position. The one at the bottom right. Then tweak the position so that the hamsters inside the circle are split up in their own individual spaces. I'm so confused. Well, go back and just look at the circle one. So the, the bottom right one is the one that's not contained. So move the circle more to the... Uh, yeah, uh, keep going get the other one as well on the left mm -hmm. go up a little bit yeah ah uh, and then like that yeah like that yeah that's it mm, this should do it i think puzzles are made for solving okay so that was fun <laughs> we got through it in the end using all the pin coins oh my god so that, that, that hint that said, oh, get the ones that are falling out, that, that fall out of the triangle enclosure, it was so confusing because then, like, because that one, that one in the corner was like... The, it said, it, it, ca it said to catch them, and you're, but like, you're not supposed to catch all of them. Yeah, it was just, uh, anyway, whatever, it's done now. <laughs> they seem fairly calm when they're eating. Perhaps you didn't separate... Don't say that to me. <laughs> they didn't need separating after all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, uh, thanks, Dutch and Scarfin. There, yeah, all done. Are you happy now? <laughs> so that's the answer at last. Um, at last you've managed to do it. Um, 
Well done. <laughs> you did just want someone to solve it for you, didn't you? I thought as much. Okay, that was the most grueling puzzle in the universe. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it right here. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for everyone watching everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry for taking so long to solve that puzzle. If you solved it way before we did, then congrats to you. You're all like apparently a genius. <laughs> uh, if you like the video, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And then um, if you'd love to see more content, you can subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.